Hi guys, welcome to this Microsoft Excel module. In this module, we're going to look at using the dget function, named ranges, the indirect function. The purpose of this exercise that we're going to go through is to be able to select from a drop down list and bring back an image from a data set. So I'm clicking here on these people, at Napoleon, and then I get the image of Napoleon. Bluka, image of Bluka, and Wellington. And each time I bring a image, I get the details from the data set using the dget function. So the data set is basically on this sheet. I've called it data. We have a photo column, a name, a date of birth, and a def column. So how do we do it? So first of all, I'm going to create a lookup on a new sheet. So get myself into B2, go to data, validation, list option. And I'm going to select my list, which are the three people. Click OK to that, color that in yellow so you can see it. So now if I click into this, you can see that the three people are there. Now I need to bring an image or copy an image um, from the sheet for a second. So I'm just going to do control C, bring it back in and do control V. Just make this slightly bigger so it sits in there nice and neat. Now if I go um, equals these two together, it's just going to bring the word Napoleon into this cell. Um, it doesn't really work at all. If I click on the image and go equals Napoleon and tick, it just brings a duplicate Napoleon through. If I go equals, click onto sheet one, uh, click into Napoleon, it does bring Napoleon back. Now, the reason that's worked is because I have named these cells Napoleon, Bluka, and Wellington. I just used the name manager to do that, highlighted them, formulas, create from selection, and in this case, the right column. Cancel that. But it would still work without nails. I could have just, without names, I could have just clicked into cell A2 and it would have worked. But the problem is, if I change these over, this does not change over, it's not dynamic. So what I need to do is use the indirect function that will change and make this whole process dynamic. Now I can't really type up there and type in direct because if I do that in direct, click on the cell, it's requiring something else to look at. But what I can do is if I copy that out of there, cut that out of there, I can then go into the name manager and create a new name. So I've already got one of my example there called flag. So I'll call this one flag one and then paste the formula there in direct b2 okay and then okay to that close that and then instead of saying equals napoleon i should be able to say equals flag one and then tick and then these are now dynamic there's napoleon there's blucher and there's wellington so the process is the indirect function that makes this work and that must be put into the name manager and then the image is what is referring to the name manager. So basically indirect. Now the rest of it, the dget part of this example, which I've just recently done a video on, I shall just copy these labels across, is I want the rest of the information to come across now, I could use VLOOKUP, um, but I'm going to use a dget function. So it's equals dget, open bracket. So it's a database function. The database I've called data. And then once the field, the field is date of birth. That has to be exactly the same as the, the column heading in the data set, which is on sheet one, comma. Then the criteria area is these two. I'll close the bracket 
and click the tick. That should give me the date. But when I pull that across, because I've not used the name, the cell reference is basically moved across. So I'm just going to name this set as selection. If I name that as selection, enter that. Change this formula to um, section. That's picked it up. In fact, I can't use selection. I've already used it on my own one. So I'll call it selection one. Change the formula to selection one. So basically look at selection one. And then if I pull that across, that should work. And then if I select a different person, the data changes as you would expect with the dget D -get function. So that is a, an example of bringing in an image, having it dynamically linked, and using the dget function to bring the rest of the data across. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you soon.